Pierre Burton a été l'un des auteurs les plus prolifiques et les plus lus que ce pays ait connu. Few Canadian authors or journalists have held a readership as wide and as varied as Pierre Burton's. Sheer volume alone may grant him that status, but we know it's more than that. People read Pierre Burton because he speaks directly to us, telling us in that crisp, pointed, bemused style of his about the raucous lives and the times of our past. His writing has entered our own lives, making this country real, more alive, recognizable, and special to each of us. We miss him. We miss his insight into the Canadian soul. We miss his cantankerous views. He once said, on becoming a writer, ignore the advice of friends and amateurs. Work, read and learn from others, and above all, try to have a good time. Well, you know, we would all do well to follow his advice. A posthumous award. I guess that is what you have to call it. I just pretend that he's still alive and shouting. Pierre in life, and especially in work, was turbocharged. And as a journalist, he was relentless in his pursuit of a story, especially if it involved any kind of injustice. I know for certain that he really hated the word mentor, but his acts of professional generosity to me and so many others stuck that label on his chest. He had what is impossible to teach, instinct, commitment, and most all, humor. Any great journalist tells a great story, which of itself is both art and the record of the times. And in Pierre's work, of course, our record is there and lives. I think for young journalists that Pierre told us that we can change the world and that in essence is our job. It's not good enough just to go out there and report one side said this and one side said that, but we actually have an active role in changing the world that we live in. Pierre was a deep guy and, and he understood that it was about making money and increasing circulation, but he also knew it was about telling a story, about being provocative, about making you mad sometimes, about giving a damn. And I think... Uh, He'd look at this culture of journalism and say, we've got to work harder at this, we've got to go deeper, we can make our own celebrities and we can make people care. Don't believe everything you hear about Pierre Burton. He did not invent Canadian history. He just made it interesting. About 50 years ago, when he was an editor at Maclean's, he got magazine and newspaper writers and reporters to write stories about Canadian history the way they'd write them for newspapers and magazines. And now... We had a whole bunch of interesting Canadians. We had farm wives and highwire artists and con men and Mounties. No more long lists of dates and battles and acts of Parliament. You know, for me growing up, he, he embodied strength. It, his, what he brought to journalism, what he did with words, because however many words there are in the English language, he chose a certain series of combinations that made me think I was learning something that made me think I was proud but not too proud, so it just made me feel like I was strong. And I think that's what, I th what he brought to journalism for me, what he brought to writing, was you've got to be strong about somebody else's information. I met Pierre Burton when I took him to lunch for my lunch column, and what I liked about him was that he understood journalism. So when I wrote about his bushy father of Confederation eyebrows, his shaking hands and his his memory, which was kind of faulty, he didn't take offense. He understood what I was doing. And I remember most people get very angry with me after lunch, but Pierre invited me to one of his legendary fundraisers, the Binder Twine Festival. He invited my whole family. He was very gracious. And so I will remember him as a great journalist who understood the craft. I think the profession of journalism is under siege. In the UK, you've got the BBC ready to fire 4,000 people, 20% of its workforce. In the United States, journalists are afraid to criticize the administration. And in Canada, we have media convergence like never before with radio, television, and newspapers all under one corporate roof. I think now more than ever, we need journalists, people like Pierre Burton, who know how to dig and research and fact check and interview, but most important, who can tell stories of relevance and significance to Canadians. 
I went down to the newsroom and I told the people in the newsroom, the hard news guys, who don't share my passion for the arts necessarily, and I said, Pierre Burton died, and it was the day that George Bush was coming to have dinner with the Prime Minister in Ottawa. And I will never forget those guys standing around thinking and then saying, this is bigger than Bush. And I thought, yes, it is bigger than Bush. I'm in a play in which one of the last lines may be the best three words to describe Pierre. The character is asked, what is your favorite book title? And it says it all about this character, and I'm sure it says it all about Pierre. All passion spent. He was very handsome. A trailblazer, fun-loving, and loud. And he loved cats. And he had a great sense of humor. Funny, funny, funny. Three adjectives about Pierre Burton. I would not give you a single one because he was a great writer and he knew that you don't use adjectives as a writer. You tell it, you show it. You don't have to use adjectives. Hi there, Pierre. This one's for you. Uh, I always used to think that you were a journalist of some sort or other, but I finally realized that you were actually disguised. You were a serious writer disguised as a journalist, and it was a very good disguise too, straight out of the front page. And I'll always remember that your abilities were very much more than your ambitions, and you increased both. At the moment, I don't seem to have your present address, but this one's for you, Pierre.